when a remote extension is in a call, there is only one-way audio or even no audio. The same problem will also happen over an extension in a different network segment from the PBX. Generally, there are four common causes of this issue. Incorrect SIPnet settings on the PBX. Incorrect ALG settings on the router. Incorrect extension net settings on the PBX. And incorrect RTP port forwarding settings on the router. Please mind that the last two causes is only for the remote extension. So we're supposed to correct the corresponding settings. Firstly, let's talk about SIP NAT settings. It is a feature that makes sure the SIP extension can send SIP packets to the PBX successfully via LAN and the internet. If not configured correctly, SIP extension won't know where to send the RTP packets, a type of SIP packets which carries voice stream. So the problem happens. How to configure SIP NAT settings correctly? Let's log in to PBX Web GUI. Choose Settings. Go to PBX. Then General. Select SIP and find NAT. Yaystar S-Service PBX provides three types of NAT. External IP address, external host, and stem. If your PBX has a private IP address and is connected to a router that has a static IP address, you can send NAT with external IP address. If your PBX has a private IP address and it's connected to a router that doesn't have a static IP, you can set the NAT with the external host. Besides, if your PBX has neither a static IP address nor a domain name, you can set the NAT with STEM for simple traversal utilities for the NAT. We're supposed to select one type to configure NAT according to our network environment. In this video, I will show you how to configure the type of external IP address. If you want to know more about the other two types, please check our document center. Say we're going to take this scenario as an example. The router has a static public IP applied from the local carrier. All devices are connected to the same router. PBX and a SIP phone are deployed in the same network segment, while the other phone is in a different segment. Besides, the default SIP 5060 port of the PBX is forwarded to port 5566 of the public IP. At the same time, a remote SIP phone in another private network is registered to the PBX via the internet. Let's see how to configure NAT with the mentioned information. First, choose the type external IP address. In the external IP address, Enter the static public IP as well as the forwarded destination port so the remote SIP phone will be able to communicate with the PBX via the internet. In local network identification, enter the local network segment of all local devices which need to communicate with the PBX. In the scenario we mentioned, we have two phones in these two segments, so we enter both segments here. Enter the network segment and the subnet mask. Click on this icon, add another rule in the same way. OK, let's move on to the second cost and crack the ALG setting on the router. It is a feature that helps voice devices traversal in the NAT environment. It will modify the IP address of SIP packet headers. If not configured right, PBX or remote extension will send the RTP packets to the wrong address. How to crack the settings? Simply make sure the ALG setting on the router is disabled. If you want to learn more about the settings in different brands of router, you can refer to the articles in our knowledge base. Alright, let's turn to the third cause. This option helps PBX send RTP packets to the IP phone correctly. So if this option is not configured right, RTP packets would be sent to a wrong IP address destination. Let's see how to enable the extension NAT settings. Go to the menu, Settings, then PBX. Then we click on Extensions. Choose the remote extension or the extension in a different network segment. Say so we choose this one. Select the Advanced and check this option. Click on Save and Apply. That's it. As for the last cost, the incorrect RTP port forwarding. Let's figure out its function first. RTP port forwarding is a method to ensure RTP packets from the remote extension can be sent to the PBX behind the router. 
If port forwarding is configured wrong, the router won't forward the RTP packets to PBX. To correct the port forwarding, you might need to refer to your router user guide. Let's check the RTP port range on the PBX. Go to Settings, click on PBX, then choose General. Select the SIP. Down here, we can find the range. By system default, it is 10,000 to 12,000. As we require, the port forwarding should be symmetric like this. Most routers would support symmetric port forwarding by default. If these methods can't solve your problem, visit support.yastar.com and contact our tech support team by submitting a ticket or starting online chat. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Get more details about troubleshooting, check our knowledge base. And get more information about system configuration, don't forget to visit our document center. I will see you guys in the next one.